What's up guys, I'm gonna go through a little tutorial here for you on Terminal. So go ahead and open up Terminal on your Mac. And as you can see, mine is pretty custom. Um, I mean it has a black background, normally white. You can see through it, it has sort of a, you know, a opacity to it. And my text is green. So in order to do this, you're gonna open up Terminal, of course. Go to the Preferences tab. And go to Settings here at the top. Now there are some default ones that you can choose. If you double click on them, it'll open one up to show you. So these are default ones. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and go to the one that I'm using currently. And we're gonna go ahead and edit this. So my text, let's say I want it like a purplish color, let's see. Yeah, that's a purplish color. So there's a purplish color right there. So let's say I want a purple color right there. The bold text, you know, we'll go ahead and make a leave that one as green and selection we'll just make it a little bit darker actually we'll make it lighter and we'll go to make it lighter right there okay so say if I was going to type something in here um, sudo you know which is a super user um, you know And, you know, it's going to say warning improper, of course. So, you know, as you can see, all my text is purple. Now, um, let's say we're going to go, we're going to change the window. So, background and effects. So, let's say we want to make this window white. We can do it, you know, pink, blue, light blue, green. Mostly, I just keep it black though and then so once it's all the way black now we can turn the opacity up and down so we can make it fully black or we can make it fully transparent um, usually you want to stay somewhat black so you can tell the difference um, I like to see you know 65% you can also go in here type it in and it'll make it and then blur you know I like to blur the background so that makes you know when you put it over something it's gonna blur it out so like that, as you can see. So once we're done with that, and you can, you know, you can set it for inactive windows as well. You can change that. I usually use one window at a time. Um, you can change the window size. So if you want to make it bigger when it starts up, go ahead and do that. And voila, you have a large window. Now if you want, you know, of course, no one's going to want that big of a window when they first start it up. So usually, I'll probably do half that right there. Oh, that's, mm. Yeah, there we go. So that's a good size window right there. Um, pretty much everything else is just about commands and uh, anything else. You can also uh, change you know, layouts if you want to. So that one's default, so now you can go ahead and open up this one. And now you're back to the default. You can go ahead and, you know, change it to any of these right here. So if you want to change any of them, it's like, so now if we uh, go ahead and edit this one, say we make the text white, and we're going to make the window black. And opacity, we're going to set it a little bit. We're going to go 90 and blur, we're going to go 50. Or 51. <laughs> All right, so now that's the default one. Double click it, and there you go. Now you can see your window, and you have some opacity right there. And there you go. And that's how to edit the terminal application um, utility. So you can have it. Uh, so you can have different color fonts or different different backgrounds. Um, you can also select an image. Um, so if you want to do that, you know, we'll go to uh, pictures here. And we'll select Master Chief. We'll go ahead and open that. And there you go. And now you have a picture. It's really hard with pictures, though, because you don't really, you know, you can't really see it, the text anyway. So I'm going to set mine to default right here. And we're good to go. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, feel free to let me know in the comments.